His name is Carlos, and you've probably seen him on television or mentioned in the press. Carlos is involved in the mystical field of channeling. That's when an ancient spirit supposedly takes over someone's body so that he may then walk around a stage offering his teachings to true believers. Channeling, it's one of the fastest growing in a long list of spiritual faiths. God bless you, Dr. Peeper. It's a variation on reincarnation. All right, I'll say, how are you this day of your time as you create time to exist? The idea is that an ancient spirit decides to show up in someone else's body. Mm. Beloved masters, indeed. indeed. To New Age believers, this is all perfectly reasonable, perfectly logical. Earlier, I spoke with a channel by the name of Jose Alvarez, a 19-year-old artist who is about to visit Australia. His body is frequently taken over, he says, by a spirit called Carlos. First comes Terry you know, Willisy tonight, who, in good competitive spirit, no, conducts a satellite no, interview no, with Carlos before he even leaves the United States. What do you say to the skeptics who believe it's just an act that you put on a performance? <laughs> I do not say anything to them. I let Carlos do that. He does it pretty good. The primetime current affairs show screens their satellite interview, complete with a registered nurse they hire to check Alvarez's pulse. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> Carlos! Carlos has some other home Graham homilies. Crystal! Our great sources of power. This is all good New Age stuff. Reincarnation, spiritual healing, and the critical role of crystals. The Earth itself is a gigantic crystal. All life on Earth derived from crystal power. Admission to the Carlos performance was free, but later the audience was invited to shop at a supernatural supermarket. But what had drawn all these potential new followers? Well, Carlos had foreshadowed his visit to Australia, not through a sign from the heavens or a natural disaster, but through a good old-fashioned public relations campaign. This is how it was organised. First, the key Sydney media received this glossy public relations handout. Now, inside, there's a uh, book of Carlos's teachings, various glossy photographs of the chap and uh, other paraphernalia. Also available is a specially produced sound cassette and, available on demand, a specially produced video. And this is Radio WOOP in New York and Carlos. This videotape shows a New York radio interview by Carlos and one of his Broadway appearances. It all helps paint him as a mystic media celebrity in the United States. What response does the publicity handout produce? Can I ask you how you know or knew that this was uh, uh, occurring here today? Um, on TWT. Through TWT, yeah. You saw it on television? Yeah, yeah we did. Can I, can I say this to you? If we didn't want you to want to, you to have the opportunity to explain yourself, we would not have invited we you. We got a plenty of opportunity. Well, why did you come in this morning other than for a little bit more publicity? Because At the end of a lively interview, the Mystics manager, Jorge Grillet, pulls a stunt that gets all of Sydney talking. He douses the redoubtable Negus when things get too hot. I mean, it's too much. I think we've proved that point. I, I think uh, it speaks for itself. This clip is shown and re-shown and makes newspaper headlines. Suddenly it seems the Sydney media is alive with water throwing and Carlos. The Mirror newspaper. No! Ray Martin's midday show. George explained why he'd had to call Carlos back. The Channel 9 News all run with the story. The event that I predicted will take place. Channels in the United States generate tens of millions of dollars a year. They rely on a public all too easily fooled, but they also depend just as heavily on a media over-eager for new sensation.